For the second straight day, an area jewelry store has fallen victim to what appears to be well-organized thieves. And this time, customers were caught in the middle. It happened at Colonial Jewelers in downtown Frederick. Jennifer Donlin joins us now from the scene with the very latest. Jen. Leon, sources tell us that this was a smash and grab robbery, that the three suspects who walked into the jewelry store behind me were not only armed with a handgun, they were also armed with hammers. Police say very similar to a jewelry store heist in Arlington. It's just a little bit unbelievable. Face masks were needed after a bizarre jewelry store heist at 1.30 in the afternoon in the heart of downtown Frederick. Police say three men barged into the Colonial Jewelers, pulled out a gun, stole jewelry, and then blasted the store with pepper spray. We came out of our office building on the third floor, and when we entered the stairwell, it was just overwhelming. Teresa Locke got out okay, but police say 10 employees and customers inside the store at the time needed medical attention. I saw fire guys coming out of there coughing their brains out, but you could tell there was something in there because everybody went in came out coughing. The gun-wielding robbers ran a block away, jumped into a dark truck or SUV and took off. But the major question now, according to Frederick Police, is are these the same three men who walked into the Zales Jewelry Store at Pentagon City Mall yesterday armed with hammers? There they smashed open jewelry cases and stole $130,000 worth of rings. We're following up with that local agency and the police department to kind of compare notes, figure out what they had, see if it's uh, the same MO that we're, we're experiencing up here. Oh, it's absolutely unheard of for downtown Frederick. We just don't have this kind of stuff. Now, sources tell us lead investigator in Arlington speaking with the crime scene detectives here in Frederick. Uh, they also tell us that surveillance video and or pictures could be released this evening as the fevered search for these suspects continues now in Virginia and in Maryland. Reporting live from Frederick, I'm Jennifer Donnell in ABC 7 News. All right.